Hi, I'm Peter Knight. In this series on the full swing and specifically pivot, I want to now look at what's happening with your lower body. So primarily in this video, knees and feet. So when I set myself up, my balance is even on both feet and my, my hips are centered. When I swing the club back to the top of my swing, my hips are going to turn, but they're not gonna slide away from the target nor are they going to slide toward the target. So as I swing back, my hips turn and my right leg doesn't appear to move sideways. Now one way of checking that is if I stand facing my shadow, the sun's a bit high here so it's a little bit hard to do it, but if I was facing my shadow and notice where my right leg is, if I then make a swing, and I notice that the shadow of my right leg and right hip is shifting sideways in my backswing, then I know that my hips haven't turned in a centered fashion. So I want my hips to turn, but without my right leg moving one way or the other. So I get to the top of the swing. I've turned my hips away, they've stayed centered. As I begin my downswing, I want my left hip and left leg to move across to a point where they're vertical. So from the top of the swing, what's the movement that I'm going to allow my hips to move across till my left leg's vertical? I don't want it to move be, uh, too far beyond that, nor do I want it to move away from that vertical line. So from the top of the swing, no movement in the, the right leg in the back swing, uh, left to right. And then from there, my hips are gonna move forward to the shot here. So if we just play a shot and look at how the lower body's moving, with the hips. And you'll find that the better your lower body moves, the more efficiently your upper body can move and then the arms and club will be able to move. So practice that, use the mirror, use a shadow if it's not midday like it is here today, and you'll be able to monitor that movement yourself.